Hi, I'm Julie Sati Sabal with Amber Pharmacy, Senior Vice President of Trade Relations. Uh, yes, I'm here at the ECRM Specialty Pharmacy Program sessions, and I was just moderating a tips program, tips session with a table. Um, we talked about outcomes measures in specialty pharmacy, and I was pleasantly surprised to see how things came and moved along. Um, first of all, we wanted to define what is an outcome measure, and I have that kind of behind me here. The World Health Organization says that they're defining it as the change in the health of an individual group of patient population as a whole, um, where it's attributable to an intervention or a series of interventions. Um, it set the foundation for what we were going to talk about. And then the, the Institution for Healthcare Improvement is a, a triple aim process that they're looking at three things that outcomes measures really need to be able to focus on. The first is to improve patient experience. The second is to improve the health of the population and of course reduce costs. Those three things that we made sure we focused on as we were, we were having our conversation. Um, what was interesting in the mind mapping that we did at the session was um, first and foremost who defines outcome measures in specialty pharmacy and if you could see the mind map it was all over the place there's too many people with their fingers in trying to define outcome measures there's a lot of work yet to be done um, so we have URAC trying to define it CMS NASP um, ACHC PQA CMS has already um, defined it in some ways in their star ratings in the hospital setting um, there was a lot of conversation around how we still need to define it and whose role it is to define it. Then we moved into a governing body. Who should be the governing body looking at um, outcome measure specific to specialty pharmacy? And it's basically dependent on who's going to try to define it, who's going to be the governing body. We kind of agreed in the two sessions that uh, NASA, National Association of Specialty Pharmacy should get more involved and be more active. There were a group of us that said we would be part of a I'll use the term think tank, um, willing to be involved to try to help define this. So um, there's about eight of us now going to get together on a routine basis and, and move this outcome measure stuff forward. The next component we went to were defining, uh, I should say the data, it's data driven. So if you're going to measure something, an outcome, you need to measure a process also. And right now, like as an example we used in the session was time to fill. How do you define time to fill? There's multiple points along the way. Not every specialty pharmacy is defining it the same. So that was another uh, long discussion in the group. Uh, the last point we went to is if you were to give, if there were a top four or five um, measures in specialty pharmacy, what would those be? Um, timeliness of care was one of them, effectiveness of care, patient experience, um, safety of care, looking at adverse events, um, and then access to clinical expertise was the fifth. In the end, what we ended up deciding was we're not ready to get into these outcome measures quite yet. We still need to define, we still need to get a group together that agree, and um, as a voice, specialty pharmacy needs to step forward and, and come together and, and define this instead of letting some other organization do that.